welcome 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 my friend welcome to my craft room friend if we've not met my name is liz and if we have met then oh my goodness this is going to be an awesome celebration so we're going to create a, an easy project that any crafter can make um, a new crafter could make this and an advanced crafter could really take it up another notch with other dies and things. So I wanted to create something for everyone. And then we're going to take a walk down memory lane because this is my last live here at Heartfelt Creations. So I don't know. Let's have some crafty fun one more time. And then I've got some fun things to show you. So I'm going to flip the screen. So I can see your comments. Zora, bonjour. You're in Paris. That's an amazing city. So my friend, we are going to make this little gift bag. And I wanted to make a gift bag because it's kind of what I do. <laughs> we've made lots of bags and boxes together, haven't we? And I thought we've got to go out on one last one. So, Anna, hello, my friend, Angelica. It's so awesome that you're here. Valerie, oh, I appreciate you. Shauna, good morning. Chris, good morning. Evie, good morning, my friend. So, right. We're going to make this together. And um, on the back, we've just got some tags. But I thought that you could put some pockets on the back here. You can make it whatever you want. Laura, oh, I'm so glad you made it, my friend. It's good to have you here. Minerva, I'm glad I got you got to be here live too. My goodness. You're all going to make me cry and we haven't even started. <laughs> oh, Sue, Chris, Samantha, I'm excited for this live too. Okay, so let's do some crafting together i really wanted to make something that was really simple um and i think thought that it's a little gift bag yes you know me for bags and boxes but i thought that i'm going to pack my gift bag with all your love and all your comments and all the last 10 years of memories are going to sit in this bag and it's going to sit behind me on my desk and I'm going to think of you all because you it's all going to be packed in here. Ten and a half years, my friend, is going to be packed in here. Okay, so Karen, I'm glad you've joined us. You're in Pennsylvania. I'm going to miss you too, Janie. Really am. You've got snow in Montana. Oh my goodness. Cherie, I'm going to miss you as well, my friend. Right, so what have we got? Let's have a look. I am using this die. So what I've done is the rounded scallop window and I'm using the big outer die. Ooh, there we go. We've got them all caught up like this. Okay, so absolutely, if you look around for me, you will find me um, with lots of other crafty inspiration. Heartfelt, I've got all these dies. I'm going to be still making projects with Heartfelt. So, yeah, you can Google me and find me, I am sure. So we're going to use this big outer die. Now, this is one of a set of dies, and these are the other dies. I haven't used them, but I did think these could make nice little pockets on the back. Um, the circle dies are just fun to create with, and these are in stock so i just dropped a die there we go um it's a circle die but let's see if i can find it okay no it's gone there we go never mind we will imagine what we've got for that one um <laughs> lives are always interesting you never know what's going to happen do we right so let's create this now then, I've already created one of the sides. Um, just glued that together already. So what you're going to do is you are going to cut one of those circle dies with 
white piece of card and two pieces of paper. Now I've used um, the Floral Shop collection, which I know has already sold out, but it's one of my favourites and I thought, you know, we're going for favourites today, okay? So, all we're going to do is we are going to glue these together. So I have my dry clear glue and I'm just going to pop this on. Now you're going to do this for both sides, remember, okay? So, just line that up, press it on. Now then, to create my handles, I want to put these in before I put on my other piece. So, I have got two circle dies, one of which just went on the floor. So, I have used a larger circle and then a smaller circle to cut out like so. Okay, I think that might have gone under one of the cabinets, but um, we'll find it later. <laughs> I don't know about you, but do you have dyes that go everywhere on your desk? It, um, it can be quite interesting sometimes. Okay, so we're just going to glue those two together like so. Lucille, it's good to see you. Sandra, my friend, Denise. Hello, lovely lady, back to you. Okay, so what I want to do is you'll do one side and then I'm going to use this side to come in to line up where I want my handle so that the handles match like so. Okay, so we're just going to then pop some glue under here like so, so that will stay in place. So those two handles are in the same place as each other. Okay. There we go. Lola, it's good to see you. You're feeling so sad. This is the last life for heartfelt. Friend, I hear you. Um, it's been ten and a half, ten and a half years. Oh my goodness. So shall I tell you a story? Ten and a half years ago, it was October, I had applied to the design team in the summer. Obviously, you know the process. Um, you went through certain rounds. And um, it was the end of October and I was waiting for the announcement to go live. And I went, <laughs> I woke up, had a look saw my name was there and honest to goodness I was jumping up and down on the bed at five o'clock in the morning jumping up and down going oh my goodness oh my goodness I got in I got in I can't believe it <laughs> and my daughter my eldest daughter Caitlin walked into the room and said well of course mum and she just rolled her eyes at me because I was jumping up and down on the bed so Friend, if you ever get an opportunity and you think that um, it might not work out, take the risk because you never know. It might just work out. I really didn't think that I'd get on the team, but hey, ten and a half years later, I'm still here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I've got my other side and what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up and I'm just going to trim with my scissors okay so Paula you're asking what dies are they these are so the handles are just the basic circles dies and the body is the rounded scallop window using that larger one like so okay Valerie, good to see you, my friend, good to see you. Okay, so you can see that I have put some fake stitching on my handle. So I'm just going to come in with my pen and do the same, like so, like this. Okay, I don't know. So yes, it was absolutely fantastic learning I was on the design team and ten and a half years has flown by and I've been so blessed. I, I 
was asked to do the social media. I was asked to be social media manager, content manager, and then marketing director. So um, that was an amazing opportunity for me. I got to do so many things, make so many memories and meet so many amazing people. I know that I met a lot of you when we were at shows and classes out in the States. And friend, those are my highlights of this and our lives here connecting with you. So many beautiful memories. And I really want to say thank you to you for creating those memories for me. Right. it's been a blast it really really has okay so we've got our sides what we need to do is our box so you're going to need a piece of card nine and a quarter by seven inches and you're going to score two and a half inches on all sides Paula you're saying your, heart, your craft room is heartfelt creations and you met the team at scrapbooking shows several times oh paula we had such an amazing team so andrea and benjamin and pam um were on the show teams at various points and gosh if we went go back sometime there was caleb and his wife just absolutely so many wonderful people um, really have been amazing memories. And I'm going to put them all in my gift bag and keep them. So, uh, Paula, yeah, you, 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 I aren't stopping crafting, my friend. I'm not stopping crafting. Keep a lookout for me. Um, I'll be creating with heartfelt products and lots of other crafty things as well. Um, we're still going to have crafty fun together. Just Google me. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to just fold along the score lines like so. Oh, Chris, I really appreciate your kind words. It's been so wonderful to get to know you too through Facebook. I consider you all my crafting family and this is really one of my favourite things to do. So all we're going to do then is, you go, these are a bit big, these tabs are too big. So what you need to do is just trim them off like so. Okay. And then you're just going to glue them all together, all the sides together, bring them in like so. Okay. And what we will do is, of course, I have one that I've made. It's got a piece of paper in it that we want. So let's get that out. So this is it finished. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this. Now, normally I would use one long piece and um, cover the insides. However, I don't have that much paper left, so I'm going to piece it together. So we're going to see something different today. Um, what I've done is I've cut this at four and a quarter by two and a half and just kind of make it just a tiny bit smaller, um, you know, like one sixteenth of an inch, just so that it fits inside. Because when you, this is, this is one of the side pieces, when you put something on the inside the fold kind of means it doesn't sit flat if you use the same size as what you've measured this to so just one sixteenth of an inch just allows those pieces of paper to sit really nicely so i'm just going to pop those in there like so so that's two sides, well, two longer sides. And then we've got, get these right, two, two shorter sides, there we go. And these are two by two and a half. Okay, and remember, cut that tiny fraction off 
Oh, Paula, your family friend as well, my dear. Our crafting family is such a, an amazing one. Um, I've been very blessed to be part of this. And uh, we've walked a long journey together. We've had lots of crafty fun together. In fact, I found out some projects that we've made over the years. And after we finish this, we're going to take a walk down memory lane. Because you know I don't want to switch this, this button off. <laughs> okay, so for the p base piece, we've got four and a quarter by two inches. Okay. Yes, Claribel. Yes, you will. Definitely. Okay. Let's pop that into the bottom like so. Right. So all we need to do now is pop on our front and then I've got two side pieces. So let's let's do the two side pieces first. So I cut these out. I thought these would be nice to have flowers on the side of the bag and they are two by two and a half. Now I don't need to make these smaller because these are on the outside. It's only when you fold card and it's the inside, it just kind of needs just to have that little bit less. Okay. There we go. Okay, and then the last side, like so. There we go. Right. So all we're going to do now is I am going to put some glue onto here. Now, if you wanted to, you could absolutely use those other circle dies to create little pockets here. Um, the choice is yours. I wanted to kind of keep it fairly plain and let my papers do the talking. And those flowers that I'm going to add on. Right. Okie dokie. So you can see how easy this came together just by using our dies and our papers. So what I've got is I've cut some of the tags out and I've got some ribbon and I am just going to tie these onto the handle now do you know what i was making this and i was like i have never tied a bow live on facebook so <laughs> this is a first for my last this is a first i don't know about you but i find bows quite hard to tie so we will just go with whatever comes because I just don't know quite how it's going to work. Okay, I'm just going to pop some pop dots on the back there to keep that in place. And then we will just pull the ribbon so that we've got a bow. There we go. It didn't do too bad. There we go. And then I'm just going to trim the ribbon. So we have our little tags on the back. Paula, you say you're loving how this is coming together. It is such a fun little bag to create. And Mother's Day is still yet to come in America. So this would be perfect for that. Now, all I'm going to do is I am going to drop these flowers on here. They coordinate with the colours. Now, this is the... This is the sunflower the rustic sunflower and all i've done is i have colored it in let me find the ink because i've colored it using the lighthouse archival and then i've just used some yellow in the center and this is the same color and then the blue that works really well with this paper is the seafarer so these come together really beautifully. Okay. Paul, are you going to make one for Easter? Oh my gosh, that is awesome. It'd be fantastic for Easter. 
So all I'm going to do is put my hot glue on there and add that on there like so. And then for this one, I just added some tissue paper in as well. So I really hope that you enjoy making these. I can't wait to see yours in the Facebook group. I will still be in there. I'm still going to post my projects and I will still be cheering you on. I can't wait to see what you create, my friend. So do you want to throw some hearts? Throw me some hearts if you would like to go for a walk down memory lane. Because I've picked out some of my favourites that we have made together and you have made as well. So you're wondering why have I got this in my hand and this? Well, this was done by Jennifer. So Jennifer, our classroom class teacher, which many of you will have taken classes with at the shows, um, she created these lovely little kindness rocks and she hid them in the office. And I found this one and I kept it. It sat on my desk ever since and um, it'll always sit on my desk because there's so many beautiful memories attached to that. And then this, I don't know, did you ever did you ever see the marketing team on Facebook, on socials? We would, um, every month, we would compete for this duck trophy. So we would have half an hour of fun every month um, all together as the marketing team. And the winner of whatever game we were playing would get the trophy. So... Um, when the team was all as their each team member left the team i bought them all one of these because i was like um, this is a wonderful memory of a wonderful time and i've got one too so my fun ducky sits on my desk as well so there we go right so Susan, catches on replay. Oh my goodness, my friend, I'm just glad you're here. Sandra, you're saying you're going to have a go at that bag. That's fantastic. Right. Remember this one? So this was made with those circle dies as well. Um, it's just made with those semicircles and a box. So look at the difference. You could you could create either one of those. Now then, all these projects were live that I'm going to go through and um if you want to find them all you've got to do is go onto the main page and go onto videos and scroll through now some of them you might have to go a long way back for but i know you'll find them um some of them are on youtube but not all of them um so this one this is going back a while do you remember this one um this is a box and we also made a card that was the same at the front Look at these flowers. These are the peonies made with the art foam paper. And look how vibrant the colour is. They are still as beautiful today as all the years ago I made it. So you love all of my box makes, Shauna. Oh, Paula, I appreciate your comment as well. So throw some hearts at the project that you really like too. Um... We made this one to celebrate the birthday, 25 years, 26 years. I can't remember. We did a big birthday virtual event and uh, we created this one. That's a really fun project. And at the same time, we created this little heart basket like so. Karen, yay, I'm glad you found us. <laughs> Um, this little heart basket and a little card to go with it too. They're so cute and sweet. Okay, so I'm going to be filling up my desk, aren't I? And we have this one with the wild asters and the gateway dies. I really like that one. That's one of my favourites. It's sat there all this time. Um, made this one a couple of Easter's ago. And uh, 
with the wild roses on the bottom. This is part of one of the gate those gateway dies. There we go. And we've got this little one here with the treasured heart. My goodness, haven't we made a lot of boxes together? We've got the circle one that we made. There we go. And then Christmas. I don't know. Has anyone started thinking about Christmas yet? Oh my goodness. Yes, I went there. Yes, I said the Christmas word. <laughs> anyway, this one's a really fun one for Christmas. Um, let's see. I made a shaker one like so really love that one i'm so grateful for you hi my friend it's good to see you you're in kentucky and oh, we just made this one recently that's that's always a fun one to make and then i don't know do you want to keep see keep seeing some projects i've got some some cards i can share Chris, you made at least 10 of the Christmas baskets. Oh my goodness, that's so amazing. Chris, that is absolutely awesome. Um, right, some of my favourite cards. We've got this one with the garden lilies. My goodness, friend, we have had so much fun together. The poppies. Okay, we'll keep going. <laughs> Oh, this one's got squash. So this was the tulips. You remember those beautiful tulips that we, we came out with? These were shaped a little bit differently. And, oh my goodness, this is one of my favourites. It's a um, urn card. Now, I absolutely loved Carrie's live last week. Um when she created an urn and put it in an urn full of flowers and put it in a shadow box what a beautiful project she made minerva you've loved everything we've made and you plan on going back to make other projects you didn't get to make my goodness that is so fantastic oh i can't wait to see what you all make i really can this is one of the older ones with some of the frame of card dies and look at those these are these are the peonies again look at how vibrant these colors have stayed really is um fantastic right i loved this one i am so grateful for you friend i am so grateful for you we've had such fun we really really have um the similar one here hope your day is as special as you are um gosh christmas card shaker card really love that this this was a this is an absolutely fantastic die and stamp really is and then this goes back a while this is um a money gift envelope or a you could put a, a card in there um you know, like a restaurant card or something like that. So that one has got a magnet in there. And then we made another one that was similar. That's got a Velcro clasp. That's a little gift money and you could got a little pocket in the back. My goodness, haven't we had so much crafty fun over the years? And here's another one just loved loved these so versatile you could use these individually for little filler flowers or create these beautiful larger flowers okay simple but effective another one here my goodness Oh my goodness, Karen, that's amazing. You've still got the one that we sent to you on I were in display. Oh my friend. Uh, another Christmas one. Oh, the tree's got bent over there. I don't know about you, but there's something about 
white on white with gold just really makes it pop and then we've got the camper van oh my goodness that is just so super cute and that was a, a collection that i hadn't used and i really loved it when i did get to now this is an old one that's the right way up so we've got inside i used this lovely oval die to create an aperture and these are the poppies there's some glitter on there i don't know if it's picking it up oh chris you're very welcome my friend you're very very welcome it's been a blast it really has and this one we made i've only got a few more here now guys so we've got the swan sending you a hug oh wow these were absolutely fantastic fun to create um i know that creating these took all of our um flower shaping skills to another level um how linda created these was just so fantastic and we all grew with our crafting through the, those flowers love that one and the cupcake now this is so perfect for any um any person any age these ones you can do them any color always fun and then we've got this beautiful butterfly i think these are one of my favorite butterfly dies ever and then i went and found a very very old project so this is the last one i've got to share it's a very old project. Do you remember the cut mat create dies? I created this photo cube. So it, it's a, a cube. Do you remember those plastic ones that we used to have years ago with photos in? Well, I created this one with my girls in. And there's Caitlin and there's Isabella with Caitlin. And I just love these. This is on display out at the coast um, in my little caravan. And doesn't it look as good today? I mean, this has got to be eight years old. My goodness. This has to be one of my favourite photos. Look at her with the rhubarb. My goodness. So, my friend... We've had fantastic fun walking down memory lane. I told you a secret that I've done and I've shared before about being so excited, jumping on the bed. And I am so thankful. I am thankful for each one of you. I'm so thankful for everybody at Heartfelt Creations. They gave me so many amazing opportunities to grow and um, not just in my crafting but in my personal development in marketing and i'm just so thankful for everything would i do it all over again knowing what's happened now absolutely my goodness i wouldn't miss out on all of this with you so friend i guess the time has come that i have to say goodbye for now and i will see you around in the facebook group i will see you around on the internet i'm not stopping crafting oh my goodness you can't take the crafting out of the girl absolutely not so my friend i'm going to come back and read all your comments and i'm so thankful for you all being here to see me off and i'm so thankful for everyone who's watching the replay too you all you all hold a very special place in my heart now i also have to say that there's not many days left to get those physical products so if you're like me and think oh my goodness i still need to get some then don't miss out because the physical products once the end of march comes they'll be gone and they'll be gone forever so if you are sat on the fence thinking oh i might i just need that make sure you go and get it well it's been a blast i love you guys i love you so very much and as always happy crafting and i'll see you again bye